In this video, guys, let's talk about the Q3 earnings report of Next Tech having the following financial highlights. First, total booking of $6.7 million, a 327% growth over Q3 of 2019, in which they also recorded a backlog of $2 million. Second, recorded a revenue which grows 200% to $4.7 million compared to 2019's of the same period by $1.6 million. It is important to note that augmented reality had not reached its peak yet while their Inferno ER had just started this year. Third, they have a gross profit that grows 344% to $3 million, having a gross profit margin of 63%. Wow! Having that 63% as a technology company. Compared to 665000 in 2019, of the same period in which it has a gross profit margin of 43%. With this benchmark alone, the company looks attractive with that increasing gross profit margin from 43 to 63%, which is actually above the benchmark for technology companies, which is 40.09% per Thomson Reuters indices. Fourth, having a working capital of $13.6 million, having a $16 million cash in hand, having only a liability of $4.78 million. According to its Q3 earnings call, their cash born is only 500000 Therefore, a cash of $16 million and accounts receivable of $1 million, their liquidity issue is not a problem. As a matter of fact, as of September 30, 2020, the company had a current ratio of 5.5 is to 1, which is actually an overwhelming, an overwhelming improvement from Q2's 2.99. It is more than the normal average of 2 is to 1. Meanwhile, its debt to equity ratio is 0.2. Look at that, it has no debt. It just signifies that the company is not risky. It's not on the brink of bankruptcy. Will never be because of this liquidity. Of course, we know that there's no guarantee, right? But I know that this management is clever and they are really good one for having no debts. Therefore, their going concern status won't be a problem. To attest, to, to attest to that, it has a total ratio of 6 is to 1. That is, for every asset they own, they have $6 of it to pay for every $1 of debt that they are having. Yes, next tech is not profitable yet, just like other technology companies like Snowflake, Big Commerce, Airbnb, or the incoming DoorDash. It has a cumulative deficit of $18.79 million as of September 30, 2020. In fact, for the three months ended September 30, 2020, it had a net loss of $4.7 million, mainly because of sales and marketing at $3.9 million while they are spending $2.7 million in research and development. Guys, this expenses is vital for a growth company even if it means having a negative operating cash flow which they have $2.9 million. Since a growth company needs a significant investment on advertising, public relations, research and product development to support its growth plans. If you're investing on a company without these expenses and they are new, even matured companies without the right innovation and marketing, and then you're in danger. In that regards, Next Tech also has ER Innovation Lab to continuously create new technology that could scale. 
it also began the development of collaborative video conferencing capabilities to rival Zoom and address telemedicine and edtech markets. Speaking of edtech market, the company's demand for education's ER labs has grown to 200% while, while every virtual event that they do has multiple ER experiences. So that's why I'm very excited to the growth of this company and I could wait for a long time until it become a big one. As they had just started in January 2018, it just took them less than three years for the company to expand through several acquisitions and innovations. From the first acquisition of e-commerce innovation, which they had innovated to web AR, Aritize, and Aritize 360 and Ad Network, while their acquisition of Jolokia's Inferno this year then innovated to screen ER, providing them providing the company a shot to be a leader in virtual events and trade shows. Meanwhile, the acquisition of Next Level Ninja leads to the innovation of Genie in the battle. What excites me more is how they can innovate their newly acquired air show to maximize its revenue generating activities. First stop, the activation of their ticketing on the application itself. So continuing his business strategy, Mr. Avon Gappelberg said during Q3 earnings report that they are working on three acquisitions, which one or two acquisitions can be completed before the end of 2020, therefore giving more value added value added to shareholders wealth so guys is next tech a buy after this q3 earnings report like what i mentioned on my previous two videos on next tech you can see it here the company has strong balance sheet having 16 million dollar cash on hand no liability and a technology company with a gross margin of 63% operating in a fast growing business of augmented reality, e-commerce, virtual events and Hollywood studios along with its strong management and expansion to Asia Pacific. This small cap which been valued now at 555.92 million dollars is about to explode therefore in my own opinion this stock is a buy in 2020 with a price target of 177 dollars using the growth rate of zoom of 38.46 percent and its pa ratio however i'm going to hold this stock long term until it become a large cap someday That's all for now guys, so if you like this video and you find it helpful and entertaining, please give me this, not this. Also, share this video and don't forget your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be keep updated on my upcoming videos. Please remember that I'm dropping a video once or twice a week.